We have a snake-like coronal hole that's rotating into the Earth strike zone now, and a bright region has emerged on the Earth-facing disk. What does that mean for you? Those stories and more in the Shorty this week. Space weather this week has gotten very exciting. We have a long snake-like coronal hole that has rotated into the Earth strike zone right now. It's been sending us some fast wind and we're already beginning to feel its effects. We've bumped up the storm levels already as of this posting and Aurora is beginning to brighten. So Aurora photographers, you should be very happy. Expects these conditions to continue easily for the next 24 to 48 hours. On top of that, we do have a new bright region that has emerged on the Earth-facing disk. It is an active region and has been given a number, and it has also boosted the solar flux up to marginal levels for radio propagation. So amateur radio operators and emergency responders responding to the Hurricane Florence, you should be very happy because these marginal levels for propagation should continue easily over the next couple days until this region rotates out of Earth view. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we have been anticipating the hit from that fast solar wind, and indeed it has arrived with a punch. At high latitudes, NOAA has been expecting major storm conditions. As a matter of fact, about an 80% chance of a major storm, and we have definitely reached that. At mid-latitudes, we've been expecting minor storm conditions with about a 25% chance of a major storm, and we might actually see that. We're at G1 levels now, and we might actually make it to G2 levels here in the next day or so. Now, unfortunately, these storm conditions will continue through potentially Thursday before things begin to calm down, especially at high latitudes. So this means for those uh, emergency responders for Hurricane Florence, as this uh, hurricane begins to make landfall, you may still be dealing with some radio noise on the bands, especially as the sun begins to go down and in through the nighttime. So expect those issues to continue continue for you for a little while. But things as we move into the weekend, things should be quieting down and it should be smooth sailing after that. Switching to our solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, everything is still in the green when it comes to solar flares. We do have a new active region on the Earth-facing sun, that's region 2721, but it is not a flare producer, so we don't have to worry about radio blackouts. The good thing, though, is that it is producing enough solar flux to boost us back into the marginal range for radio propagation on Earth's day side, and that will continue easily over the next few days until this region rotates out of Earth view. Now also because we are at solar minimum, we do have to worry about the cosmic ray penetration which is a little bit higher than normal. So you frequent flyers, that includes you air crew that fly over 800 hours annually and you fly at high latitudes and high altitudes, you are now in the marginal range for radiation dose. So please take this into consideration in your flight plans. So the space weather this week is very exciting. We're already feeling the effects from the fast wind that we've been expecting from this coronal hole that's rotated into the Earth strike zone right now. It's already bumped us up to a G1 level storm, and it could bump us up to G2 level storms here over the next 24 hours or so. So you aurora photographers, even down to mid-latitude, you should be getting some beautiful shows over the next couple of days. Now, emergency responders and amateur radio operators responding to Hurricane Florence, well, things aren't looking too great right now. We are in storm conditions, and that means the bands most likely are really bad, and they'll continue to be that way easily over the next day or so. They might even get worse before they get better, especially on Earth's night side. The one good thing, though, is that as we move into the weekend, things should begin to clear up, and hopefully the storm will kind of settled, have settled down before Florence actually hits land. Now for GPS users, well, this storm's pretty strong, so you might actually be having some issues too, even down to mid-latitudes. So be sure to stay clear of the Dawn Dust Terminators and definitely clear of Aurora, and you should have a better chance. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.